So you're thinking about moving to Bend, Oregon, and you absolutely love the idea of having all kinds of recreational activities right outside your front door, just minutes away from any direction you go. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be covering in today's video. Today, we're actually gonna be getting into the car and zipping out to Smith Rock State Park. It's mid-February, it's 63 degrees today. In the middle of winter, we get these pockets of warm weather and we are going to take full advantage of it today to give you an idea as to what Smith Rock State Park is all about in the middle of winter. It was absolutely packed. So if this video sounds like it's for you, then stick around because we're gonna be getting after this tour right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Bend, Oregon, then subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market in Bend, Oregon. My name's Ryan and I've lived in Bend for over 30 years. My business partner, Zach and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Bend, Oregon, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even set up a Zoom meeting. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Bend, Oregon or anywhere else nearby. So like I stated in the intro, today is one of those Sundays. We're in mid-February. It's the heart of the winter. It's an absolute stunner of a day when it comes to the weather. It's 62, 63 degrees. One of those rare days. We get pockets of them. They're kind of teaser days as we get progressively closer and closer to the spring and then into the early summer. But right now is no exception. Every year we get this. People that are new to the area, they get super excited about this type of weather and they think it's here to stay. It's just like the new trend we're trending up towards the spring and summer but it's not the case in fact the weather forecast a week from now is supposed to be down to 10 degrees as a daytime high but today we're going to enjoy this day and its weather we're heading out to smith rock there will be hundreds if not thousands of people also enjoying the amenities that smith rock has to offer so let's just jump right in and check it out from a google earth standpoint as well as just from a hiking standpoint as well so what i'm going to do is share our screen here and then we are going to be off to the races as it relates to Smith Rock. And so here we are. We are North Bend by about 26 miles, okay? And so it's about a 30 minute drive, sometimes 40 minute drive to get to Smith Rock State Park. This gives you a vantage point of what the scene looks like. It's the Crooked River Canyon that goes in and around these rock formations here that created Smith Rock, obviously hundreds of thousands of years ago. We don't need to go into a geology report here or a history of the rock formations. We just need to take a look at what this actual uh, formation is all about as it pertains to you and what it can provide you in terms of recreation. And so this is a place that is very popular. It's the one of the state parks that gets the most visitors in this state every year. About 800,000 people will come through Smith Rock and enjoy the amenities. Most of them are hikers. Most of them are here for the view and the scene. A lot of them are gonna be climbing as well. And we're gonna notice some of that here as we progress through this video tour. But ultimately, people are here for the hike. And they wanna see the view of the actual rocks and uh, the cliffs around them, the river. It's it's a pretty stunning scene. I compare this to like a, a Bryce Canyon or a Zion National Park, um, just on a smaller scale because the state park that it is, is a little bit smaller in terms of its size. It's about 640 acres. But again, the, the scene and the views are second to none. They truly are remarkable. We're just to the east of Terrebonne. You can see it here on the map and then up a little bit further in this view is going to be Redmond and then a little bit further beyond south is going to be Bent. But uh, again, a very, very spectacular scene here. What you're going to notice here as we progress through this tour is that the hiking opportunities are plentiful, but the primary hiking opportunity is called Misery Ridge Trail. And so what we did today as a family, uh, we drove out here and we parked uh, at about 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning it was about 50 degrees again like i said very rare in this uh this time of year where we get these types of days with the warm weather and so we wanted to take full advantage of it we get teaser days like this in late january early february into mid-february and so we'll get pockets of 55 to 60 to 65 degree days and we want to take full advantage and so that's what we did and you're gonna see here that plenty of other people chose to do that as well. So as we progress around this 
rock formation here. I want to show you, this is looking to the west now. Uh, this is going to be Misery Ridge. And so the road here that comes into Smith Rock is going to be where the majority of people are parking and they're starting their day. And so that what they'll do is they'll hike. So the majority of people are going to come down here. This is going to be the Misery Ridge area. This is the trail that you hike down into the canyon. And then you're going to be ending up crossing the bridge right here. This is the Crooked River. And then as we look towards the actual rock formations themselves, what we're going to see here is the zigzag back and forth, back and forth of Misery Ridge. And that thing is very steep. They don't call it Misery Ridge for nothing. But what it does is that it progresses all the way around. It's very steep. A lot of st a lot of stair climbs and a lot of slope here as you progress around and up through this trailhead here this is a very very steep incline and so uh there's been there's been some accidents here you got to be very careful we took our nine and six year old today and so we were letting them kind of set the pace they did hike it themselves all the way to the very top of we we were very cautious especially with our six-year-old as we went up this steep incline here to get to the very top once you get to the top of this area the view is absolutely stunning when you're at the bottom of this canyon here right where we're crossing the bridge. It's at about 26, 2700 feet in elevation. And then we just kind of rise up probably six or 700 feet to the top where we get to about 3,200 feet. And so again, it's a 3.7 mile hike and it takes us all the way around the formation. And once we get to the back side here, now we're looking from the opposite side of where we just got to, but you can see this is gonna be the trailhead at the very top and you can look down and the famous monkey face rock is right in here. Google Earth doesn't really give it justice, but we have some vantage points from it during our hike that we're gonna show you. And then it kind of comes down. The slope here has a great view of the Cascade Mountains to the west. And then it kind of zigzags back down, as you can see, going back and forth back and forth because of the slope and the grade. So people are really very, really, very cautious as they kind of trend down this way and traverse down to the bottom. But this is this is going to be monkey face rock right here. And then you can uh, you can hike down as the slope. It just kind of it flattens out a little bit. We eventually get down to the Crooked River just right along the riverbed here. And we are just kind of walking towards uh, the edge of the rock formation as the, the river itself bends back and then we end up going back the other direction. But again, ultimately this is about a, oh, 3.7 to four mile hike. Um, and again, thousands and thousands of people are literally at this place every single year, up to 800,000 total. But on a daily basis, there's, there's several thousand people, especially on a day like today. So it truly is a remarkable scene here and it's just right here in our backyard. So if Smith Rock State Park is something of interest to you, please go take a look at it and just, just enjoy the amenities that it is. Again, it's just 26 miles from Bend. It's about a 30 to 40 minute drive, depending on the traffic. And uh, it's about 10 to 15 minutes from Redmond. All this stuff is just right here in our backyard. If we flatten the view here and tilt it, you can see we can look towards the west and that's the sisters there. This is Mount Bachelor over here. If we were to look up a little bit towards the north, Mount Washington, Black Butte, uh mount jefferson this is all westbound this these are the mountain ranges here this is the cascade mountain range that basically separates the willamette valley on the other side from where we're at here uh in central oregon so if i tilt up a little bit what you're going to see is a little bit further down is going to be eugene that's in the valley if we kind of tilt ourselves up a little bit we're going to see mount jefferson beaverton vancouver longview gresham portland that's the portland area there mount hood and up there a little bit further is Mount Rainier. This is all the Northwest, uh, but this is the, this is gonna be the mountain range right here that separates the valley over here from the sunny side of the state, the high desert. And Smith Rock State Park is right there in the heart of it. We are very fortunate to have all of this at our disposal. Again, Central Oregon is a truly remarkable area. A lot of people wanna be living in this, this neck of the woods just because of the outdoor amenities, the weather, the proximity to the big cities of the area, just by a, a plane, Roberts Field, that's our airport right here, goes up to Seattle, goes down to San Francisco, probably 15 times combined per location per day. So we have a lot of direct flights to and from, um, easily accessible areas, big hubs. 
But again, Central Oregon is just in a very fantastic location. Smith Rock State Park is right here in Terrebonne, a truly remarkable area, one of a kind. It's one of the premier state parks in the state of Oregon, as well as the region of the, uh, the Pacific Northwest. So again, uh, guys, we just want to give you as much information about this stunning area that is Central Oregon as we possibly can. We love this area. Bend, Redmond, Central Oregon alike. There's so many things to do. Our goal with this channel is to share as much information and value as we possibly can as you make your decision and your journey towards moving to Central Oregon eventually. So if Bend is your spot, great. If, if Redmond's your spot, great. If somewhere out a little bit further, say in Terrebonne, in Sisters, in Lapine is a spot that fits for you, great. We wanna help you guys meet you where you're at and provide those services regarding your real estate needs. So again, thank you for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if this, this was of value to you. If you have questions or comments about this video in particular or anything you want us to see us or see us do in the future, please drop a comment in the comment section below. We would love to uh, provide as much value as we possibly can as we continue the growth of this channel uh, with your support. We're so thankful for everybody that's watching and repeating and coming back to watch uh, our videos. Uh, it means the world to us. But again, um, our contact information is below for when the moment is right for you to make that next step in your journey towards moving to Central Oregon. So please reach out to us. You can call us, you can text us, you can send us an email, or you can even set up a Zoom call. We wanna meet you where you're at. But again, thanks for watching today's video on Smith Rock State Park. And uh, please enjoy that hike when you finally make the trek out there. Uh, if we don't see out there, then we'll just see you on the next video. Have a great day.